there was this tendency to be reductionistic in the whole psychology and psychotherapeutic field in, in a variety of different ways. The first way that I'm going to focus on how I, I saw things being reductionistic is believing there was this belief and it's in most movies that you see about psychotherapy is that if we just get back to the trauma and remember it we're going to be fine you know then we're that's the way we heal and it just isn't the case because uh i mean it's not that it's never the case sometimes it work it can work like that particularly with people who are fairly integrated to begin with but just remembering the trauma sometimes makes it worse for many individuals and so what I came to see then is that it wasn't the trauma itself that created the symptoms and difficulties that we experience. It's the adaptations that we made to the trauma or traumas. When we're talking about developmental trauma, we're talking about chronicity of trauma, you know, ongoing kinds of life or family situations or cultural situations that create ongoing distress and that it was the adaptation that we made to trauma we'll use it just the the singular the adaptation to trauma more than the trauma itself and then i started looking and being curious about you know adaptations and Again, for those of you who are psychodynamically trained, you probably are familiar with Anna Freud. She was uh, Sigmund Freud's daughter, and she was the first uh, psychoanalyst to create this kind of a comprehensive view of what they at the time called defenses. And it was very useful development in the field, uh, a huge addition. But then I, almost, I started asking myself, what is it that these so-called defenses, because I don't use that word anymore, I don't like the implications of it, but what do these so-called defenses have in common? And I saw that whatever we were talking about, projection, projective identification, on and on and on, there were about 20 some, I think, that she that she created, that they had they all had one thing in common. And that was that they were mechanisms of disconnection. And so what I came to call instead of defenses, the adaptive survival style mechanisms, that's the obviously the word that you know now in NARM, were all mechanisms of disconnection. And then I started seeing that the meta theme is and that, that really causes us as human beings to be symptomatic and to be you know in, in big and, and smaller ways is uh, you know, are these mechanisms of disconnection. We disconnect from ourselves. We disconnect from our body. We disconnect from our emotions. We disconnect from other people. And the paradox that I began to see is, is that these very same mechanisms of disconnection, these adaptive survival mechanisms that once saved our lives became the source of the ongoing symptoms as we moved into adulthood that we experience and, and even sometimes experienced even as children. The, we carry these adaptive survival mechanisms into adulthood and they're the cause of much of the, a huge amount of the symptoms that we experience as adults.